Hello and welcome everybody to the jammy session. Uh, this is one of my jammy sessions where I'm trying to get inspired by sounds. Uh, this particular sound I'm working on, and you can always see at the bottom, if you don't want to hear all the blah, 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 you just go straight to where the sound thing begins. There should be a little thing that I enter at the bottom of each video, so you can skip forward. But this is to harness creative energy by getting inspired by musical sounds. And this is inspired today, I got by a delay, a simple delay, however, it was specially treated. This one is no ordinary delay. It was actually introduced to me by my good friend Tom Snow, a brilliant songwriter and artist, singer, producer um, that I worked with for many, many years. And um, Tom brought over this cool little Elise's delay box a long time ago that had um, a musical offset between two or three different delays. And I emulated this today with two H delays. So here's what it looks like or sounds like. Um, it's the delay. Take a look over here on the screen. I want to just scroll up to where the delay. So here's the the first H delay. Uh, it's a waves delay and the second one. And you can see that they're set to the exact same time. They're in quarter notes and the track is at 120 BPM. Uh, there is, however, another delay over here. And that one delays the top one, the first delay from waves here, this one, is delayed by an additional 250 milliseconds, more or less. That just uh, pushes things out a little bit. And what happens if you turn that on, uh, then you hear something like this. Look. So pop, 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 pop. So there's a musical delay. Oh, maybe I should turn this off. Hang on. So if I play guitar, and I just thought to myself, what happens if I either speak through it, if it inspires me, I make a rhythm with a rhythm instrument. In this case, this morning, in my uh, jammy session here on the 31st of May, 2019, this happened. Look. I thought, oh man, oh, 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 oh. I thought this is really cool. Let's see if this could evolve into something. So uh, I recorded, wait, wait, wait. I recorded my good old Takamine guitar, which I love very, very much. And uh, the first pass of the instrument sounded like this. <laughs> So that adds something unique that has a rhythm in itself, but it's kind of ghosty and mysterious. And it just plays around the head just beautifully, you know? And I thought, all right, um, what would happen if I added two guitars, you know, to see if something evolves out of that musically? Uh, and I added... Um, Two more tracks of guitar. Here she goes. So you can see something evolved and it wouldn't exist without that sound so the the musical energy of that particular sound and this is by the way no exact emulation of tom's delay uh it was much hipper it did something like pop 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 and i haven't quite figured out i think i probably need three delays to do this rather than two but this was enough to create this inspiration so then uh next thing i did i thought what would happen if we added a little bass to it so i grabbed my um, yamaha bass and ran it through uh, Chris Lord Algae's great bass series. And I wanted to introduce you. That this is a multi-purpose video. So you can see how, you know, I grab sounds and kind of mold them so that they speak musically more than just a naked signal. Uh, here, uh, Chris, Chris Lord Algae's bass 
Um, let me show to you how the bass sounds like without that plugin. Here it is. That's the naked bass sound. I'm going to turn the plugin on. Now it's got some meat and some distortion. Pretty cool, huh? So that feels musical to me. That's not just a naked DI sound. You know, those plugins are very, very effective in lifting the sound and bringing it forward good at some attitude. Uh, lastly, uh, I played around with my new favorite drum plugin. Let me close all this stuff here. Now you know what the ingredients are. Close all this. Favorite plugin called Stephen Slate Drums. <clears throat> I also. <coughs> Excuse me. I also work a lot with Superior Drummer, but I found that you know for these driving rock rhythms, there's a lot to be said about uh, Stephen Slate's. Hang on, edit instrument. Where's kit mixer? Here it is. Good. Oh, welcome. Good morning. So Stephen Slate drums is uh, processed also. Every channel is processed through uh, Chris Lord Algia's series, the Wave series. Uh, you know the kick drum plugin. When you put all that together, the uh, result for today was this. Here it goes. I'm going to play it for you now. Uh, hang on. Uh, 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 uh. Yep, coming through. And here is the result. This is what happened today. And that's going to be a song written to it in some way, shape, or form. So here she goes. <laughs> so forth so that's where we are right now and that took about i want to say this whole thing came about in about half an hour 45 minutes and it's a complete body of you know something like a verse and, and a channel section or something like that but without this delay that started the inspiration by throwing sounds back at me in this cool little manner and it's not just a ping pong delay you know it's a ping pong delay sounds too predictable to me but that brought the inspiration and that got, that got everything mo uh, uh, in into motion. And so I wanted to encourage you to, um, to create things. And, and then the next thing is then when I walked away and I got my camera to tape this from the house, on the way to the house, due to the kinetic energy of walking and not being at the instrument, all of a sudden I began to hear other parts of the song and I started sketching ideas down. And, the, you know, I've got a couple of ideas right here. Look. So just some kind of a idea came out of this whole deal so this will be developed and, uh, and i just wanted to share you the sort of like the kitchen sink moment where stuff gets piled on and begins to shape itself you know and then you know something will be written to that that's almost like top line writing so anyways that's all i got for today um please Honor your inspiration. Be good to yourself. You know, don't work too hard. Step away, you know, because fresh ideas come to me mostly when I'm not at the instrument. I do have a lot of instruments right here in my creative cockpit, but um, channeling creative energy requires as much at the instrument time in relation to the idea and to the spark as it is, uh, as it needs time away from the instrument with 
the idea and the spark just kind of looping through the head, you know, heart and soul. That's it. Hope you had a great, uh, um, th hope that was helpful to you and have a great creative day. I'll talk to you soon. Peace out.